everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding. Back at you again with another exciting video. So if you go back and you look at my video called Tailgate Talk number three, uh, I talk about my oxypropane torch setup, and then I've got another video where I'm showing myself uh, using that same setup to cut one inch plate and uh, you can see that it does very good. So I had a lot of people asking questions about it, so I wanted to make another video. I've got all of the parts that you need for this setup laid out here in my tailgate, and so we've got a lot of talk to uh, talk about, so let's get started. Now make sure that you, you watch all the way to the end, because at the end I'm gonna have my final comments, and I'm gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages, and maybe, it, you know a couple other little things but let's get started okay so let's get started with the torches um, this right here is the uh, smaller Victor series uh, this is a 1000 series this is a true Victor um, but I also have a bigger one this is a off-brand um, Pretty much similar to the big one that you can get at Harbor Freight. I think I got this on Amazon. It's a really nice torch and I really like using it. Uh, other things that you may need uh, is a rosebud. Um, you can do most of your heating. If you're gonna bend something, you can do it with the torch. But the rosebud just makes it a little, a little easier. Uh, you're gonna need an assortment of tips. And so let me, let me talk about this tip. So this is a number five tip. This is just one that I just grabbed out of my box. But look at the end. All right, so that's a little bit different than what you would see on an acetylene torch because it's indented on the end. Also, propane tips are two-piece. See if I can do this with one hand. They're uh, two-piece torches. Uh, this one, of course, is just, just hollow and then everything happens on this end and if you see here let me see if i can get it to focus well yeah so you may see those little flutes all right so those flutes and then you've got that one big big end so when you put this back in the uh outer piece this makes the complete uh torch nozzle and then you have that that indented end now the advantages to uh, this type of torch is it's a lot easier to clean because all you got to do is take it apart and just run your wire brush you know this way and uh, clean out those flutes and then you may want to get a, a little file set so that you can clean out that center hole now the same thing goes with the uh, rosebud uh, the rosebud uh, for a propane setup looks like this it still has that same indention uh, the acetylene is just flat with the holes and you won't be able to use acetylene tips or rosebud with the propane setup because it has to have that little indention to stay lit other things that you might need of course are strikers um, you know get you know two or three I prefer this one uh, it's a really good striker and when you wear down that flint you just loosen the bolt spin it around You got two more flints to use and These are uh, I picked these up at my local welding supply. They're like maybe two dollars each um, And they're good and they they're you know kind of hard to strike sometimes and they don't make the best spark uh, so I prefer these um, if you got some money to burn, you can get the electronic ones. Those are really, really nice. But uh, so for the torches, um, the torch body itself is going to be the same whether you're using uh, acetylene or propane. And again, the only difference is the tip. And uh, um, and again, this one is the uh, Victor 1000 series. And this one is an off-brand, uh, but it's still a Victor style, so that it can use the Victor uh, tips in it. And um, I forgot what brand this is, but I got it on Amazon. But it's the same as the Olsen, the big Olsen that you can get at Harbor Freight for about 80 or 90 dollars. 
um, just make sure it's a Victor style. Um, and I only say that because the uh, Victor style propane tips are a lot easier to find than the uh, Harris tips. All right, the only, um, the only other thing is your hose. Um, your hose that you need for propane is the uh, type T or grade T. Uh, if it's acetylene, you're going to be using grade R or type R. Um, but uh, on my truck, I keep this 25 foot um, hose, and um, it's usually you know sufficient for what I need. On the uh, torch end, I use these quick connects. All right, they're very handy, and then I've got the uh, male end of the quick connects on the torch. And so when you take off the torch and you're going to pack things up or you're just going to take off the torch and put on something else, um, you can just do the quick connects and it keeps the gas inside the hose so you don't lose whatever you've got on there. Uh, the only other difference is the regulators. Now your oxygen regulator is going to be the same and it's just a regular oxygen, oxygen uh, regulator and you see I get I buy mine from this company here uh, S S U A S Sway SWA something like that I get these on Amazon and this one uh, they're usually orange and it'll say LP gas and um, <coughs> If you see here on the on the nut, any time that you see this little indention on the edge, on each edge, that means it's reverse thread. So these are reverse threads and they're made to go into your propane bottle. And um, you may want to find a tip chart for propane that you can keep on your phone that you can look up when you need to. Um, and it'll tell you um, what size tip th that you need to use. Usually my go-to's are uh, a, a double aught or a zero zero and maybe up to a one. Uh, generally gets me for most of what I'm doing. Um, this one, uh, oh and your tips are always going to start with a GPN. This is a GPN uh, number five. Uh, that that tip right there will cut, I don't know, four to five inches thick. Um, and yes, you can do this with propane. And so um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so again, uh, quick connects are nice to have. On the, your hose, make sure it's a type T or a grade T. Your regulators, um, oxygen and LP gas or you know some of them might say actually say propane and then um, torches are the same for acetylene uh, the only difference on the torches is the tip and if you use a rosebud uh, just make sure it's a propane rosebud that's got that that um, indention on it and um, so that's that's basically it that's the hardware that you need Okay, well you see that's pretty much it. Um, again, the only differences between a, a uh, oxygen propane setup versus an oxygen acetylene setup are the regulators, the hose, and the tips on your torch. Everything else is the same. Um, uh, same connectors, same torches. If you've already got some torches and you want to convert to uh, propane, easily done. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to uh, an oxypropane setup. The advantages are um, the propane bottle, you can just put that in your back floorboard, you know. Easy to carry around if you run out of propane, take one off your barbecue grill. Uh, it's late at night, maybe on a weekend, you can't get acetylene, you can always go to the store and uh, swap out your propane tank or go steal one off your neighbor's barbecue grill. He ain't using it. Um, uh, so uh, propane is cheaper. Uh, propane is a lot cheaper than acetylene. Um, 
Now you will go through uh, my, my big oxygen tank. If I do a lot of cutting, I'll probably go through five oxygen tanks before I even start touching my propane. So the propane tank is gonna last a lot longer than your settling. Um, it's, it's safer to transport. <clears throat> Acetylene, uh, you can't lay it down. If you accidentally lay it down, you got to stand it back up and wait 24 hours before you can use it. Um, and it's 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 dangerous. Uh, a propane tank you can just put in your in your back floorboard of your truck. Um, the disadvantages to the setup. Uh, now you can still cut you can still heat up. Um, I can heat up a piece of half inch round bar in 15 seconds and it is glowing red and you just bend it. Um, so nothing on that's changed. You can cut with it, you can heat with it, you can bend with it. The only difference is on the propane setup you cannot weld with it. Um, you can only weld uh, if you're gonna like you know, do some some you know torch brazing or something like that. You can only do that with the acetylene. Um, but uh, that's about it. But uh, anyway, I hope this you know clarifies some stuff up. If you have any questions, please ask. I, if you know my channel, I'm here for you. I'm here to help you get started on a shoestring budget. Um, get you you know stop you from buying stuff that you really don't need and uh, um, so if if you know my channel if you've been a you know long-term subscriber I really appreciate that and uh, um, I answer every single comment as fast as I can um, and then you know several times that's gone comment 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 till we're having a full conversation if it's something really intense and I feel like we need to talk more than just text, uh, I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. I don't care. Um, and we can talk about it. But uh, anyway, I really appreciate every single one of y'all. I hit a thousand subscribers the other day, so I'm really excited. But uh, uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds. But anyway, uh, it's Memorial Day, and uh, I'm going to take off the rest of the day and uh, go enjoy myself. Y'all have a great weekend.